Hey team, Rue here. Quick video for you. I had a question put into our private members Facebook group uh, by William and he was asking, look, I've got some epic results for my clients, which is awesome, right? But he says, how do I showcase these results? How do I get a really good, I get a, at an awesome, epic testimonial, which he likely sounds like he deserves, right? And it's a good question because getting epic testimonials and ones that serve your business and really you know, fuel the business is uh, difficult to do because we may not ask the right questions and get the, the right sort of feedback, the answers back as well from our clients. So what we have to do is we have to ask very specific questions. And in my opinion, to get an epic testimonial, we have to do three key things. The first one is we really need to get a good idea of what it was like before. Okay, so when that person, when that client joined, before they joined, like what was their situation? What was their problems? What was their pain points? What were they really struggling with? And then we also need to secondly get the during. So how did they feel during that, um, you know, during the program or during the, the, the coaching with you as well. We want to get in that element as well. And then lastly, of course, we also want to showcase the actual end result. So what did they overall achieve at the end of the program and moving forward as well? So typically we always go for that third one, right? You know, what results did you see, et cetera, et cetera. And, uh, you know, showcasing the before and after photos, but for a really powerful testimonial, we need to get all of those three key things in, all right? Before, during, and after. And they're doing a lot of key things for us as well because the afters are very powerful, okay? Yeah, here's the results I achieved. I feel great now. But that's not where your, you know, your, your, your future customer, your future client is right now at that point, right? They want to know and they want to relate to your, you know, your, your clients who's had success where they were before so that they can relate to them and they can put themselves in their own shoes and then they can actually see themselves moving through this transition, through this uh, transformation, this progress, this journey as well, right? So we need to ask six key questions that are gonna really bring out the before, during, and after as well. So I'm gonna go through these now real quick and you can, uh, you can just swipe them, take them, use them for your own testimonials and your programs with your clients, yeah? So the first one is, this is starting at the before, is you know what was the number one thing that might have stopped you before buying? All right, so what was the big objection? This is what this question's really trying to pull out as well. What was the objection? Was it time? Was it money? Uh, so many things, right? So we wanna pull that out. And again, it's trying to relate to our uh, future clients as well, as well, because they're trying to meet them with that pain point, with that frustration, what was stopping them as well, yeah? So the next one then, of course, moving into the program is what did you like the most about the program? So here we're diving into now the during, okay? So they're in the program. What did you enjoy? during the program and another one would be you know what other three benefits or what benefits did you see from you know completing the program from doing the program so again we're still looking at the during aspect here as well okay so how did they feel did they get an instant boost of energy did they find a you know a community of like-minded people these are the little things we're trying to pull out and of course put into our testimonials as well so now we can start to look towards the end result now as well. So the big one is like, what were your results? What was the, 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 the big thing that you went on and achieved from, uh, from the program, from the service, all right? From the coaching or whatever you're offering, the product service, yeah? So um, another one then would be, of course, you know, would you recommend this product or service? So again, we're just opening up the conversation, whether you're doing this in written or, you know, face-to-face -face with your clients as well. Would you recommend it? And if so, why? So again, we're going to be looking again towards more of the sort of the processes there that you've implemented, whether it's the, the community, whether it's the one-to-one -one coaching, whether it's all the resources you provided them. Again, it's pulling out some of those key features that uh, many of your clients may have benefited from as well. And uh, yeah, again, your future client is going to really uh, benefit from knowing to what to, what's kind of like a little teaser so to speak right so the last one then i've written down here is there you know and this is again is more of an open-ended question as in is there anything else you would like to add so this final question the sixth question for an epic testimonial is just allowing your client to yeah put put in their own sort of uh bit of information here give you some feedback and uh sometimes i find on this sixth question i get some of the best 
pieces for my testimonials as well because it's just allowing the client to open up a little bit, give their own input and they're not steered in any direction so to speak and sometimes those little bits of uh, open-ended questions can work fantastically well. So that's the six questions that I would use. I mean as long as you're focusing on what was it like before, what was it like during and what was the overall end result that you achieved and you can pull out this information and then you can create your own testimonial as you see fit, whether it's written or video. That's how I've done it. Again, I've written these out and sent them to clients via email and I've got epic responses back. And again, I've even done it face to face with, with our clients uh, on camera as well. It's the kind of the script I follow and uh, yeah, use it. Feel free to use it. Start using it in your, uh, in your fitness business. Let me know how it works out for you. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. Just give us a like, stick in the comments if it's been really beneficial for you. If you know someone that can benefit from it as well, give it a little share. That's all I ask. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. All right, thanks very much. See you a bit. Bye.